Ladies and gentlemen uh, of the Middle East and North Africa, dear investors, uh, my name is Khaldun Al Bassam and I am the director of Iraq Geological Survey. And uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you a brief on Iraq mineral resources uh, and potential opportunities to invest in mineral and mining uh, sector. <clears throat> okay. Actually, Iraq is part of the Arabian plate, and uh, most of it is uh, uh, part of the stable shelf of this plate. A part of the Zagros region, which borders Iran and Turkey, uh, the rest of Iraq is, is uh, uh, characteristic of non-metallic uh, mineral deposits. This is the geological map of Iraq. Iraq has been covered by actual geological mapping on a scale one to 100,000. Uh, and uh, the map was updated several times. Now we are doing detailed one to 25,000 uh, mapping in different parts of Iraq, especially those uh, with encouraging mineral showings. Okay. <clears throat> we have prepared uh, the mineralogenic map of Iraq based on about 1,000 mineral deposits and occurrences, which uh, have a full criteria where the full criteria was de defined and uh, age was defined. And uh, uh, this map is a quite a useful guide to uh, ex uh, further exploration and prospecting. OK, this is uh, Iraq has started mineral exploration uh, for the past maybe uh, 60 or 70 years. Uh, first, uh, the British Site Investigation Company worked in Iraq for about two decades. Then the techno export from the Soviet, former Soviet Union for about 10 years. And Iraq Geological Survey uh, took the responsibility of mineral exploration since 1965 until now. <clears throat> okay, we will have a brief review of what we have. This is our pride, native sulfur, Iraq has the largest world reserve of native sulfur in Miocene rocks. This is strategic because it's not linked to oil industry. It uh, uh, can be mined by fresh method or by open pit uh, mining. 600 million ton of proved reserves in uh, Mosul area, north of Iraq. This is our second uh, bright spot, phosphates. And actually, uh, Iraq, with its 10 billion uh, reserves, resources, uh, comes second after Morocco. And if probably you know, MENA, my, MENA countries uh, possibly contain more than 70% of the world phosphate reserves. So sulfur plus uh, phosphate plus natural gas, these are the three pillars for a successful fertilizer industry. Also, we have a lot of uh, salt deposits. Uh, the most common type is the sodium chloride and it's being mined uh, uh, from central Iraq as well as from the Arabian Gulf. A peculiar sultan in the middle of Iraq 
is rich in globarite, which is sodium calcium sulfate, uh, a raw material used to produce sodium sulfate. And it's uh, a nice opportunity for investment now offered for uh, your attention. Limestone is, like most of the Arab countries, is very rich in pure limestone deposits suitable for not just cement, but also for chemical, various chemical industries and the reserves estimated by about uh, 8,000 million ton. Dolomite as well, and uh, it can be used not just as a building stone, but also to extract magnesia if you don't have magnesite. Gypsum, widely used in Iraq as a construction material. Quartz sand. This is an important raw material. Uh, our quartz sand is 98-99% uh, pure. Uh, enormous reserves have been discovered and evaluated. And with the next door conference on energy, looking for uh, alternatives for uh, fuel, I think uh, the future is for uh, producing uh, electricity and energy from uh, uh, silicon products. Silicon Valley in the United States is, is a huge industrial uh, field, and I see no reason to not to develop Iraqi quartz sand in the same manner. At the moment, these sands are used for ceramics and glass. Also, we have uh, philosophic sand, sand, coarse sand rich in philosophers in the central part of Iraq. And these can be upgraded to about 85, 90% uh, pure philosophers by simple flotation process. We produce also because we are a cement producing country, we produce standard sand for cement testing. And here we have some interesting opportunity for those who are interested in heavy minerals. Uh, we have uh, uh, heavy mineral sandstones in uh, Western Desert with uh, zircon, rutile, and monazite. Monazite is the rare earth phosphate. This is interesting and uh, needs somebody to, to pay some attention for, with further studies, and uh, especially in the upgrading and extraction technology. Of course, Iraq has uh, enormous resources of gravel and sand, which are essential to development and construction as well as quaternary clays. We are a country which, are known, which is known for history to produce bricks. Other types of clays include ceramic clay, kaolinite, which uh, with about uh, more than 1 billion tons of reserves of various types. And we, co we consider kaolinite as the second best choice to produce alumina. We don't have proper or rich bauxite uh, deposits, so we consider in the future this uh, raw material can be essential source for alumina production uh, on a large scale. <clears throat> we have our bentonite clays and uh, and next year, we will be producing sodium-based bentonite that meets API uh, specifications. And Iraq is, as you know, is an oil-producing country. And this material is essential to prepare uh, a drilling uh, mud uh, on large scale. The same, a tuple guide is also a drilling mud. 
used especially for salt rich uh, drilling. Silistite, strontium sulfate is present, requires more uh, work to establish its uh, uh, dimension and uh, quality, but important showings are known in central part of Iraq. Porcelainite, for those who are not familiar with the term, is a filter aid. It's a rock, siliceous rock, characteristic of very low density. You can use it as a filter aid or uh, as an uh, aggregate in lightweight concrete. Bauxite, we have a small karst type bauxite of low quality and uh, the same is with the, our iron stone. Our iron stone is a low grade used only for as a corrector in cement and clinker. Now we come to metallic minerals. Those are rest restricted to the Zagros belt, which is in the northeast and north of Iraq. Uh, we have important zinc and lead deposits. Uh, by the way, none of these metallic minerals are exploited yet. There is no mining in northeast Iraq uh, to extract these uh, metallic minerals. Zinc and lead are the main and most common type of mineralization. They are mostly low temperature stratiform type deposits comparable to those in Turkey and uh, some parts of Europe. Copper. Well, we have important copper uh, showings in uh, ophiolites similar to those of Oman and also of the Emirates as well as Cyprus. It's part of the ophiolite belt uh, and most of these countries actually are producing copper and producing chromite from these rocks. Iraq needs somebody uh, with uh, some courage to come over and do something about it. The same is with the chrome and nickel, uh, the same type basic and ultra basic rock complexes in uh, northeast Iraq. Iron and manganese, we have uh, encouraging showings in uh, the Zagros uh, belt, uh, but not, nothing uh, can be said about the reserves or the extension. It needs a lot of exploration. Barite <coughs> is known to be associated with uh, lead and zinc, uh, and there are encouraging showings. Barite is important for uh, oil well drilling as a heavy constituent. Some showings of asbestos and metamorphic rocks are also recorded in Northeast Iraq. Also, as well as marble. Okay, after this review, the potential for uh, Iraqi mineral resources. As you know, Iraq is an oil producing country, but it can be, with little effort, uh, can be a mineral producing country as well. Why? There is a high diversity of mineral deposits and industrial rocks, high quality and of specifications. <clears throat> Generally easy mining conditions. Most of our deposits are extracted by open pit uh, mining. Large reserves of many of these deposits and multiple industrial uses uh, of uh, the raw material, including cement industry, uh, drilling mud, filter aids, fertilizers, and other major chemical industries, glass and ceramics, refractories, as well as non-ferrous <coughs> metallic industries. Okay, we have a, uh, we think we have encouraging uh, points in our favor. We have a skilled man manpower. Iraqis are uh, engineers. Uh, and geologists uh, cover the main uh, need for manpower. We have energy resources, 
uh, water resources, and m the most important is the political support for private sector investment in mining and minerals. Marketing possibilities, we are connecting three continents, and uh, the main markets are just down the Arabian Gulf. Okay, thank you.